Kia ora. All right, audio should sound better now. Just realized I didn't have the mic on for that video just before this. Uh, had a good run, um, had a good shower, finish off with cold gains again. Definitely the coldest shower I've had so far here. It was about as cold as the ones in Wellington when we had Matatini down there. Had breakfast, got my kai ready for the day to go out to Rura. Getting picked up in about a half an hour. So I'm just going to read for a half an hour until then. Uh, I'll write my power list now. I think I'll, I'll drop my power list number down to three. Maybe I've been off a more, bit more than I could chew with four. And that was me going hard out. So maybe I'll drop it to three. If I complete, um, you know, if, if I regularly keep completing three, like early on in the day and it's too easy, maybe I'll start adding it back up to four again. But yeah, I'll drop it to three. Uh, and then we'll see how that goes and play that one by ear and add it up to four. And then ideally get it back, get it up to five like it originally is um, in Andy Frisella's sort of notes or, you know, what he says to do. Uh, it's day one of 75 hard challenge, Andy Frisella's challenge. So I, had to, so I did my 45 minutes. I've uh, been drinking my water, took my first progress pick this morning in the room. Uh, I'm about to do my reading now, so that'll be the third part of that. Uh, fourth part is eating clean, which is the reason I had to restart this whole thing in the first place. Not that I wasn't eating bad, but I know in my mind that having relish on my kai wasn't good enough, so yeah, that's why I'm wanting to start again. And then the other one was diet with no cheat meals. I think that was the last one, which is an easy one. Oh, it should be an easy one. Freaking hell. Let's go find it. Lightning strikes by my window. Alright, Chefano, just out here in Rua. Um, just about to get underway with some shooting. Pretty stoked to be here. Feels cool to be out here too. Just picking some of these fellas brains about sound and camera and stuff so pretty stoked about that because i love that stuff it's just about to do some slow-mo now so yeah i'm just gonna watch it and learn cheer, cheer. Chefano, um, just got done shooting outside, had my first taste of um, sort of professional shooting. It was only two shots, but I was definitely like feeling pretty cool. I just did a wide shot of, um, of Nan just mowing in and then I punched in a little bit. Same sort of frame, but you know, I felt mean. Um, definitely learned heaps already, just, just observing and asked a few questions, tried not to like be ho-ha really. Yeah, but no, definitely heaps of learnings. It's been mean. Gonna do a few more shots inside now, so um, be definitely a bit easier for Nan to just sit down. This is one of her apples off her tree too, by the way. My reorder. Chivane just wrapped up. Um, a lot of learnings today. It was cool. Um, they gave me like a couple of jobs to do, which was mean. Definitely nervous, as always, especially when you're unfamiliar with like the sort of work. So good way to. Um, get used to new things and this is where I want to be so me yeah all finished uh, the time now is 10 past 3 28 degrees outside too I just finished doing some trying to do some what are they called um, GV shots general vision I think they're called pretty much just shots of um, like photos and things around the house just to add like some contextual sort of b-roll to the to the video um, yeah, and no, I'm pretty stoked to have that sort of responsibility. I don't know how it all turned out because still guessing and trying to figure out what I'm up to, but that was me. Um, yeah, going to go home now and then get into some mahi. Get the blooming Tuesday's vlog done. Cheer. Just got home. Wow, it's hot as today. It's 28 degrees today. Man, learnt heaps. Learnt heaps today. I'm still quietly buzzing to myself. Um, super, super super grateful for the opportunity um thank you to the bro fata just for asking bro and just for letting me come and just watch you fellas do what you do and i definitely see this as one of those days that i'll look back on 10 years from now and or 20 years from now and say yep that's where it all began it began here 
this is not my first time doing um well this is my first time doing a shoot like we did today like a proper one where we had to go around and um coordinate a few different scenes and by we i mean them and i, I just watched uh, but the first time I was part of a shoot was um, at the start of this year and that was with uh, Rawiri and Matua Marcus and that was shooting um, down in Gisborne with Derek Lardelli <coughs> and Sao Parata and his wife and yeah no nah, this was just a whole new beast different types of shots and how it's all gonna piece together yeah I can definitely see I sort of get a, um, a better idea in my mind of what the whole thing's gonna look like and I'm yeah, I'm stoked to have been a part of it to the two bros that I met today, Phil and Jake, uh, Phil the sound man and Jake the cameraman, years and years of experience, both of them and just both super super cool dudes, definitely hope this isn't the last time I get to hang out with those fellas because they're choices and it's funny I was talking to Fata uh, when he dropped me off and uh, I was talking about a, an episode of Waka Hui I, I seen and I got sent a link from one of the bros Anaru. And it was just really, really beautifully shot. It was with uh, Brad, the episode with Brad Totorewa. And it's funny because I, I remember watching it and I was like, man, the cinematogra cinematography on this is super, super nice. And the fella today, Jake, he was the one who shot that. So yeah, super grateful to be in the presence of people like that. And super open, like I was asking questions and just picking their brains. And yeah, no, nah, they were more than happy to help and just to share whatever knowledge and experience that they had so that's the sort of person that i want to be you know someone like that who's not shy to share the knowledge that they have and you know although they've got years and years of experience they don't walk around like people who who are like that you know they're super humble dudes and yeah yeah they don't know me from a bar of soap and i'm a dude just has zero experience in that field so for them to be as, as welcoming as they were is you yeah, know it's been mean as um anyway back to the you know, my own personal mahi of the day. I haven't even written a power list for the day, but I know what the power list is going to consist of. Uh, that's finished the tahine design stuff. Uh, I sent off some stuff last night, and um, the initial response is good. They're happy. Uh, media's happy, and she's going to go through with her team. But there's one more concept I want to do, or a little mock-up that I want to do. I'm going to just quickly do that now, send it off. Um, so that's one, one um, task. <laughs> second one is to finish tuesday's vlog and the third one is to get my camera insurance sorted uh, i started it last week and it's, it's a long process but it's, it's a long necessary process so yeah i'm gonna get that done for now and then um fit my run in there somewhere great day great day i think this high that i'm on i'll just buzzing out is gonna last a while so kia ora whanau. just finished filling out the insurance stuff Far out, it takes ages, especially just the amount of different things I had. The hardest bit was just trying to find all the serial numbers because they're all in random ass places. Some of the items have a million different numbers on it, you don't know which one is the serial number. Had a look on Google for a few of them, couldn't even find any info on where to find them. So, some of them I had to just find which number looked like a serial number. So, yeah, that was definitely difficult. Um, definitely not going to be able to get the vlog either vlogs done Tuesday or Wednesday so I still gotta go for my run now which is 45 minutes still gotta make a feed have a shower go to bed and I got the um painting the mural tomorrow too so ugh, feeling a bit stressed out finally definitely the most stressed I've been in a while actually just a few things going on all in my head rattling around in my brain I uh, booked in a couple of jobs for next week first moko jobs since Feb so yeah, it's just just stressing just because there's heaps of things on my mind and I just have to sit down and make sense of it all but running out of bloody time in the day hey about to go for my run now um see if I see Kia ora. just got back from my run far that was definitely the hardest one I know I've only been doing it for a few days but like blooming lower back it's just killing me sore as as you can see I'm blooming drenched but feeling good though mentally like my body gets sore before i even get tired but i'm just glad that i'm just going unbroken keep moving uh the podcasts are definitely helping i was listening to one just now uh gary v one it's a montage of all um just different people random people some of them are famous some of them ain't um and it's just them just saying thank you to all their followers and all their supporters not only from the beginning but up to now even the new ones so I just wanted to um, follow suit. 
Gary V, thank you for, for being you and inspiring uh, not only myself, um, but you know, everyone else. Well, no, you know, thank you, Gary V, for inspiring me, a young Māori boy from from Waimana, Aotearoa. Uh, and this is to all my supporters, to all my followers, those of you who have been here from the beginning, those of you who have just joined, those of you who are yet to join, who are watching this video years from now, months from now, weeks from now, days from now. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I really, really appreciate all of you. All your comments and likes um, don't go unnoticed. Um, yeah, this is actually, I think this may be my first time just actually taking the time out just to say thank you properly. So, this, from this sweetie face right here, uh, thank you fellas. Um, I hope um, that what I'm doing and the passion that I have for creativity and being Māori and being vegan, I hope that any per some percentage of that is rubbing off on you in some way and that it inspires you to to be yourself and to do your thing whatever that may be whether it be cleaning windows being a ceo of a company creating movies playing music whatever it is you go do you and you don't need permission from me or from anyone else to go and do that thing uh, just go and do it and it's gonna be hard that's the thing but if you love it enough as i'm sure you do it'll be worth the pain and the suffering so Go get yours, Fano. Mori ora. Arohanui. Love you, fellas. Check, check.